Hey kids! In today's video, we'll be learning about friction. Are you ready? Let's begin! Have you ever wondered why your shoes make a squeaky sound when you walk or dance on a shiny floor? Or why is it easier to slide on a slippery slide than on a rough one? Well, today, we'll explore the answers to these questions and more as we talk about friction. So what is friction? Friction is the force that opposes the motion of objects when they rub against each other. It's like a hidden hand that tries to slow things down or stop them from moving altogether. Let's go over the types of friction. Let's begin with static friction. This is the friction that keeps objects at rest. Imagine trying to push a heavy box on the floor. At first, it doesn't move because static friction is acting in the opposite direction of your push. Sliding friction. This is the type of friction we encounter when objects are already in motion. For example, when you're riding your bike, the tires experience sliding friction with the road. It's what makes your bike slows down when you stop pedaling. Rolling friction. Rolling friction is a bit different. It occurs when an object rolls over another surface. Think about a skateboard or a roller blade. Rolling friction is much smaller compared to sliding friction, which is why it's easier to glide along smoothly. Are there any factors that affect friction? Let's go over these factors. There are several factors that affect the strength of friction. One is the surface texture. Rough surfaces create more friction than smooth ones. Another factor is the force pressing the surfaces together. More force means stronger friction. Finally, the type of materials in contact also matters. Some materials have more friction than others. Friction is all around us and serves many purposes. It helps us walk without slipping, stop our cars when we hit the brakes, and even hold a pencil while we write. Reducing friction. To reduce friction, we can use lubricants like oil or grease to make surfaces slide more easily. Think about how a well-oiled bicycle chain helps your bike ride smoothly. Always remember, friction is the force that opposes motion when objects rub against each other. Now here are fun facts about friction. When you rub your hands together vigorously, you can feel them getting warmer. This is because the friction between your hands converts kinetic energy, which is motion, into thermal energy, which is heat. Even in the vacuum of space, where there is no air, there is still some friction when objects move against each other due to molecular interactions at their surfaces. This is called dry friction or surface adhesion. And that is all for today's video. I 
hope you enjoyed learning about friction today. Take care now. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like. That will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon.